Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Hey, good morning. Well, let's talk about Mac OS. Now, our current release of Mac OS, of course, is Mac OS Sierra. Now, Sierra brought Siri and Apple Pay to the Mac, let you put your documents and your desktop in the cloud, and even let you unlock your Mac automatically using the watch on your wrist. Now, people are loving Sierra, and we love it too. So we wanted to spend this year perfecting it. But of course, the question is, what do we call it? <laughs> so we enlisted, once again, our crack marketing team. They were giddy to hop in their minibus, and this time venture east, deep into the Sierras, but this time ascending its highest peaks. And when they finally came back, they had a name they said felt really, really good, and it's my privilege to announce for you today, Mac OS High Sierra. <laughs> now, we talked to the guys and we said there might be, this might be misconstrued, but they assured us this name is fully baked. So, now, High Sierra is all about deep technologies that provide a powerful platform for future innovations on the Mac. But we couldn't help ourselves. We also added some refinements. And it starts with Safari. Now, Safari is known for its efficiency and its legendary battery life. But Safari is also incredibly fast. In fact, we benchmarked Safari on the same hardware running Mac OS and Windows with all the popular browsers, and Safari smokes them in benchmark after benchmark. Jetstream, Speedometer, MotionMark, Safari tops them all. So that's right, Safari is the world's fastest desktop browser with High Sierra. <laughs> and Safari's domination continues with the new modern version of JavaScript, ECMAScript 5, where you can see Safari delivers 80% faster performance than Chrome. Now, in addition to being tremendously fast, Safari also helps give you a serene browsing experience. Now, you know sometimes you go to read an article and instead of finding something to read, you get this? Just some loud audio and video that auto plays and disrupts your whole reading vibe? Well, now, don't worry about it because we have autoplay blocking in Safari. <laughs> Safari detects the sites that shouldn't be playing video and puts you in control. You can always push play. Now, Safari is also key in respecting your privacy. Now, have you ever had this experience where you go to buy something on the web, you know, even complete the purchase, and then it seems like everywhere you go on the web, it just follows you around? it kind of feels like you're being tracked. And that's because you are. <laughs> no longer, because Safari has intelligent tracking prevention. <laughs> Safari uses machine learning to identify trackers, segregate the cross-site scripting data, put it away, so now your privacy, your browsing history is your own. It's not about blocking ads, the web behaves as it always did, but your privacy is protected. Next, I want to talk about some refinements to mail, and it starts with search. So in addition to providing searches based on recency, search in mail is now using Spotlight to identify your top hit. So the message you're looking for is almost always right there at the top. And if you're into using mail in full screen, well, now we support split view for your compose window. It's a great way to compose mail. And mail is more efficient than ever. It actually uses 35% less disk space for storing your mail. Now, probably our biggest area of refinement in High Sierra is in Photos. Now, yeah. <laughs> photos has some great new organization and editing tools. There's a persistent sidebar and a new view that has all your imports in chronological order. And in any view up here in the upper right, you can filter by your keywords, by uh, your favorites, by just media types like video. So it's really easy to get to just what you're looking for. We've also improved faces. It recognizes far more faces automatically using advanced convolutional neural networks. And when you put effort into categorizing and naming people, well, that's now synchronized automatically across all your devices. 
Now, we also have some great enhancements to editing inside of photos. You can see here on the right-hand side, all of your editing tools are arrayed, and there are a bunch of great new ones, including curves, which allows you to fine-tune the color and contrast in your image, and selective color, which lets you modify color in a selective range. And I think you're gonna like this one, because if you like to do edits in a pro tool like Pixelmator or Photoshop, well now, when you punch out to that other editing tool, all of your edits automatically synchronize right back to your photo library. Now, Apple pioneered printed books on pr based on projects you construct right inside of the photo application, and now we're opening this up to third parties. They're gonna offer some amazing new printing services, full framed uh, wall-mounted uh, photos, and even publishing websites all based on projects right inside of photos. So those are some quick refinements, but I wanna to return to the main story now and that's technology, because we've gone deep on the fundamentals. Data, video, and graphics. And when it comes to data, the fundamentals are in the file system. Now, the Mac file system has its roots, actually, HFS, from 30 years ago. Well, a lot has changed since then. We have a lot of flash drives, our storage is a billion times larger, and it's time for a more modern file system so I'm pleased to announce that we're bringing the Apple file system to Mac OS as our new default. Now, APFS is a thoroughly modern file system, 64-bit, top to bottom. It's safe and secure with built-in crash protection and native encryption, and it's ultra-responsive with modern features like instant file and directory cloning and high-performance parallelized metadata operations. Now, what does that really mean in practice? Well, let's take a look at a simple file duplication inside of Sierra. So we're gonna go up to the file menu, select duplicate on these very large video files, and it's gonna copy. And just like you'd expect, there's a lot of data to be copied here, so it takes a little while. Just about done. There we go. Now let's watch that in High Sierra. Well, we're gonna go up to the file menu, we're gonna sub duplicate, and we're done. Next up, video. Now, the current standard in video is H.264. In fact, H.264 has really enabled the revolution of streaming HD video on the internet. But of course, the game has moved from HD to 4K and 4K high dynamic range video. And there's a new standard to support this. It's H.265 or HEVC. And you want your video to look great, preserve all the detail and color, and HEVC does it while saving up to 40% better compression than H.264. Now we're building in software encoder support into High Sierra for all Macs and hardware acceleration of HEVC for the newest Macs. And we're also building it into Pro Tools like Final Cut, Motion, and Compressor. Now I want to return to our main story which is graphics, and graphics are all about the GPU. The GPU has been the performance superstar of the last decade, delivering incredible gains in computational performance. Now, our API for high-performance graphics is Metal, and developers have taken amazing advantage to Metal. This is Dawn of War 3 from Feral Interactive, incredible graphics. This is DaVinci Resolve from Black Magic, which can accel accelerate many editing operations. And of course, we even use Metal inside of Photos for doing machine learning and identifying your photos. But we've learned a lot working with developers on their adoption of Metal, and we have a new version to announce today. You'll never guess what we called it. It's Metal 2. <laughs> now, Metal 2 is tremendously fast. In fact, it has great optimizations and new APIs that, when adopted, deliver another 10 times improvement in draw call throughput. Now, some of you remember when Metal first came out, it itself had a 10 times improvement over OpenGL. You can multiply those numbers together, that's 100 times improvement. Now, we've also provided better, uh, um, uh, sorry, uh, debugging and performance analysis tools for you to optimize your app for Metal. And we're so excited about the advances in Metal 2 that we've taken the Mac Windows server and put it on top of Metal, accelerating things like mission control. And some of our most challenging system animations are now buttery smooth all the time. Now, 
Metal is not just about graphics. We're also using it for machine learning. It can now accelerate, yes, we have metal performance shaders that accelerate all kinds of deep learning algorithms. Now, another piece of metal news today is metal for external graphics. So, you know our MacBooks have this tremendous balance of portability and power. But sometimes, for some workflows, you need even more power. You want to take advantage of the incredible Thunderbolt I.O. on your MacBook Pros to access external graphics. So we're going to be making this possible in Metal 2. Now, with this graphics power, we're really doubling down on our focus on pro content creation. And that's increasingly about VR content creation. And so we're bringing Metal for VR to High Sierra. Now, Metal is delivering a VR-optimized display pipeline that provides extremely high performance. And we're optimizing our pro apps, like Final Cut, for doing things like editing spherical video right inside the VR environment. We're also working with Valve. They're bringing the Steam VR SDK to the Mac. And we've worked with Unity and Unreal to bring their engines for VR to the Mac. It's really cool, and you might just be seeing a little bit more from us later today on this topic. So that's a quick look at macOS.